Hi guys, today I want to show you how to create and set up a voxel lightmap. First, we create a voxel lightmap object. It is showed as a cube with some grid on its six uh, sides. The grid represents the voxel grid. First, uh, we uh, increase its sides in order to cover all uh, the objects of the scene we want uh, uh, the voxel light map uh, to be applied to. Okay. At first, uh, the voxel light map is black. Now we have uh, to compute the lighting information for filling uh, the voxel light map. So, to do this, we click on Edit, uh, Generate Voxel Light Map. After uh, selecting the voxel light map, we want to compute Edit, Generate Voxel Light Map. Okay, the Generate Voxel Light Map dialog appears. The first parameter is the name, the file name of the voxel light map. The second parameter is the ambient occlusion radius. For now, lighting information uh, computed into the voxel light map uh, is related uh, only to ambient occlusion. So this is the radius of the ambient occlusion expressed in centimeters. So now we want to make uh, the radius of the ambient occlusion to be about 50 meters. Ambient occlusion radius uh, is uh, the length of uh, the rays that are shooted to check if uh, uh, something is hit during uh, the computation of uh, the ambient occlusion. Voxel sites is the size in centimeter of a single voxel. In our case we want to make 32 centimeters the voxel size. Okay? As you can see the grid of the six sides of uh, the voxel light map cube uh, are changed when you change the voxel size parameter. Voxel size parameter is used to computing the resolution of the voxel light map and to adjust the size of uh, the voxel light map volume in order to cover precisely all the voxels in that resolution. Number of samples is the number of rays that are shooted from uh, every single voxel for computing the light visibility from that voxel. More samples, more quality. Uh, the default value is uh, 36, that is a very low value that is used usually only for uh, uh, experimentation and then uh, make uh, a temporary computation uh, for checking if there are problems or uh, errors, etc. But uh, this is not uh, the ideal uh, number of samples to be used for getting uh, good quality uh, results. For getting uh, good quality, we have to start from uh, at least uh, 512 uh, samples. Of course, more samples, uh, bigger computation time. The um, voxel light map can be computed only on uh, layers you choose okay you can choose layers on which the voxel light map uh, must be applied this is useful if you want to uh, use different techniques for making ambient occlusion of your scene as to engine as voxel light map and also terrain uh, occlusion 
So if you, for example, have a terrain with a small village and some trees, you would like to compute voxel light map only on buildings of the village and then use terrain occlusion for computing ambient occlusion on the trees. In this case, you can create a layer for the buildings and then compute the ambient occlusion of the voxel light map only on that building. And then use terrain occlusion for computing the occlusion of the trees. S2 Engine voxel light map system has the ability to compute the ambient occlusion solution in a progressive way. This means that you can compute ambient occlusion with a few samples, for example, TD6, and then in a second moment, uh, you can refine your solution, adding another bunch of samples. The voxel light map system will uh, add the new bunch of uh, samples to the previous one for refining the solution. This is useful if you want to refine the solution over time, over many days. In any case, if you want to start from scratch uh, a new solution, you have to check clear previous data. Clear previous data, restart the computation from uh, by clearing uh, all the previous uh, results. Okay, compute lighting uh, uh, check, uh, tell uh, the system to compute the ambient occlusion into the voxel light one. Okay, now we can compute our first uh, ambient occlusion solution. Okay. Okay, as you can see, the ambient occlusion uh, has been computed. In order to better view the results of uh, an ambient occlusion computation, I have introduced a new debug mode that is called ambient shadows that shows the ambient occlusion uh, generated by the voxel light map by the terrain ambient occlusion and by the screen space ambient occlusion. As you can see in this first computation, there are some uh, artifacts produced. The first most evident artifact is this. The difference between the color inside the voxel atom and the color of the rest of the map. How to fix this? To fix this, uh, we have uh, to play with uh, the contrast parameter of the voxel light map. That is this. Increasing the contrast uh, will reduce the difference between the voxel light map and uh, the rest of the map. You have to carefully choose this parameter. If you increase too much the parameter, voxel light map results will be clear it. So you have uh, to try to choose the lower contrast value that erases the artifact. In our case we start with 0 0.4. 0 0.5 just solved the problem. Also there are some other artifacts uh, on the roofs of our building. You can uh, solve this artifact by increasing the voxel, the voxel bias parameter. The voxel bias parameter push the uh, voxel sampling of the pixel towards the normal of the pixel. Okay. In this case, uh, this will uh, hide uh, the problems on the roofs and other surfaces. Inside the building, uh, the solution is too much uh, uh, good because we have uh, used uh, too low number of samples. There are no problems on the exterior, but uh, usually on the interior, uh, this is much more evident. So we have uh, to choose uh, a uh, bigger number of uh, samples. For example, we can uh, choose uh, uh, 512. That is uh, the first uh, of the high quality uh, number of uh, samples. This will take a bit of time. As you can see, 
with more samples the solution is much much more better okay okay guys for now is all thank you for watching bye